My name is Dorothy Huang. I started Chinese cooking over 30 years ago. I was born in Canton, China, and I came to this country about 40 years ago. So uh, when I started Chinese cooking, I started with the University of Houston. They have a Sunday school. It's a non-credited co uh, courses. So I started there just with one class. And then as popularity grew, I taught more and more and more. And a few years later, I uh, published my first cookbook, which is called uh, Dorothy Huang's Chinese Cookie. It has been uh, reprinted six times. And then um, in uh, 2004, I published my second cookbook, which is called uh, Chinese Cuisine Made Simple. Every recipe is very easy to follow. That's why it's called Chinese Cuisine Made Simple. And I also have some pictures inside which my students appreciate a lot. It's, I have all the Chinese condiments and ingredients, lit, uh, all the bottles and jars and packages here. So when they go shopping, they look for the brand I use. That helps a lot because you get lost in a Chinese supermarket. And this will be a fair guide. And also, uh, we I have a picture of the Chinese vegetable and wrappers. And uh, we're going to do a very exciting program for the Taste of Homes, May the 2nd. And I'm going to do the Taste of China, of course. Uh, Chinese food is so popular. If I ask any, uh, any people, you know, they say, oh, I love Chinese food. And because Chinese food is so easy to fix, and it's perfect for this kind of demonstration because it just takes maybe a few minutes. Um, you get the dish from beginning to end. And I'm going to uh, do uh, several segments during the Taste of Homes on May the 2nd. And uh, every 15 minutes, I'm going to do one and let you taste it, and I'm going to repeat it again. So it's a, like a continually show. It's really, really fun. And you're going to learn lots of technique. Not only uh, you learn, but you got to taste too. That's why we call taste of home. Okay, I'm going to do a very beautiful, very delicious dish for you, and it just takes uh, several minutes to do. Uh, the the tool I'm going to use is a wok. It's very important that you're going to use the right tool to get the job done very quickly and easily. And the and the um, the wok I'm going to use is this nonstick wok. It's very easy to use, and then it has a long handle. It works especially especially good if you have a gas stove because if you hold the wok, the handle is long, so your hand will be away from the flame. You won't get you know the hand won't get too uh, too hot. So that's the wok we're going to use. And then with the wok, I, I use a spatula. This is a a non-stick spatula, even though in China we use the carbon steel wok, but uh, then we can use a metal spatula. Since we use a um, non-stick wok, so we have to use something that work with the non-stick surface. This spatula is my favorite tool, and uh, the shape is just like the traditional Chinese spatula, except it's made from this special material, so you won't scratch the wok. Okay, uh, the dish I'm going to do is stir-fried shrimp with pecan. Uh, we, uh, across the street of this um, cooking depot, we have a pecan house. And the pecan house, they sell different kinds of pecans there. Today I'm going to use a plain one, but today I'm going to use the stir-fried with the sh shrimp. So this is a local ingredient included in Chinese cooking. And for other vegetable I'm going to use is a bell pepper, red bell pepper, and snow peas. And the snow peas, you have to string it on both ways. And we make it really fancy um, to cut a V-cut. So it go, looks very special, this dish, when it's finished. Okay, so the shrimp is the main ingredient. The shrimp, I have some wonderful called tiger prawn shrimp. You can see the little stripes there, looks like tiger. And it's such a great shrimp, it has a sweet taste. So um, we shelled it and then deveined, but I leave the last shell of the tail on. So when you finish cooking, uh, the, the shrimp will look really pretty. The, this will turn pink, looks really pre pretty. So these are the three main ingredients, red bell pepper, snow peas, and shrimp. 
Now for the flavor, I'm going to use a little bit ginger. You know, ginger is something the Chinese use all the time in uh, in cooking. Uh, the ginger looks like this when you go to grocery store. You find them in almost every grocery stores now. So, uh, but I do not wash my ginger. The ginger I keep it dry. That way you can keep it longer for several weeks in the refrigerator. The only thing I do each day, if I need to use it, just a peel, maybe a quarter inch uh, from the cutting surface. And that way, I, the, the only thing gets dry overnight in the refrigerator is the surface. So I cut off the surface, and then I slice paper thin slices, couple thin slices. I peel it first, by the way, because I don't wash it, so I just keep it dry, but the, the skin, I, I try to remove the peel before I use. And then after I peel and I slice, and I'm going to shred it in very tiny little strips. Because ginger is very spicy, you don't want to bite into a big piece of ginger. So I just cut it into very tiny So I have some of this, and then I also have some garlic chopped too. I'm going to put these two together because this will flavor the shrimp. To start, I'm going to just uh, uh, turn this heat on. And I'm going to use a little bit of green onion when I stir fry the shrimp. So the, for the green onion, I, uh, all you need to do is just cut off the root and rinse it really good. And the, use the whole thing. And I'm going to just cut it diagonally like this. <coughs> diagonally into pieces. And that way it cooks faster and looks pretty. So I have two pieces of green onion already cut up diagonally. So I have green onion, uh, sh uh, ginger, garlic for flavor, and the main ingredient is this, okay? So one, two tablespoons of oil into the wok, and I want to show you what we have here. You see this uh, interesting uh, thing is a salt dispenser. Look at this. You can open it up, and there is a spoon here, and if you need salt, you can just uh, measure, and this will... Uh, close like this if you're not using it that will keep the bugs or flies or anything from going into the salt but this is something I put it on my counter all the time and this dispenser is good this is also for salt too and you can just you don't have to make any moving like this it just feel like this and it comes out by itself it's hand free and this is for salt and you can put pepper there too and this is pepper you can always use a little bit of pepper and salt on your ingredient. And when, when you, your other hands are busy, and this hand can take care of salt and pe pepper very easily. So we have lots of wonderful gadgets here. Okay, now I'm going to test see if the oil is hot. I'm going to put a little piece of garlic there. If the garlic is sizzling, you see the bubble? Can you see this into the... Oh, yeah. Okay, look at the mirror. You can see. Okay, now I'm going to cook the vegetable first. So the vegetable, I have the bell pepper and the snow peas. Look at how beautiful. It looks almost like Christmas time. <laughs> it's green and red. Okay, when you stir fry, the thing you look for is the green color will turn to brighter green when it, once it's cooked. So you can just keep stir frying this. I'm looking at the snow peas. When it's cooked, it turns to bright green color. And you don't want to overcook your vegetable. It takes less than between one to two minutes. And I use very high heat. So Another thing you have to remember, no, not to overcrowd the wok, because if you put two pounds of vegetable, it always that high already, and then you don't have room to make the uh, uh, to turn uh, the vegetable. If you can see the vegetable looks a brighter green now, the green onion, I mean the, the snow peas, and the green onion will turn to that color too in a minute. Okay, so we can see and the. And the oil really makes the light shiny and makes the uh, vegetable very extra special. Okay, now this time I'm going to put just a quarter uh, teaspoon of salt over the vegetable. Okay, if I want a little bit of a uh, uh, little bit of pepper, I can do it like this. See how simple? So this all these things will help you to have fun in the kitchen.
Okay, so I'm going to transfer back this to the wok. And looks really pretty. And then I'm going to wipe uh, the wok with a piece of paper towel because there's a little bit of juice from the vegetable. So I'm going to put in two tablespoons of vegetables. Okay, so I'm going to test the oil again, see if it's hot. I always a little garlic or ginger because I always use that in my dishes. Okay, it looks pretty good, right? It looks uh, sizzling. That means time to add the ginger and garlic. Now this, the cooking time for this depends on the size of the shrimp. We have pretty good sized shrimp, so maybe take two or three minutes. Now, remember the, the color of the shrimp. Uh, when it's cooked, it will turn pink and white. When it's raw, it's gray. So look for the pink and white color. Okay, so I'm going to put some green onion here too to make it pretty and flavorful. Okay, you can tell that shrimp is getting cooked, but not quite. Still have lots of gray color. So I, I want them to all turn pink and white. You see that already turning color, looking really pretty. Okay, the pecan we have here, this a regular pecan hat, and it comes in the bag. So as I told you earlier, it comes with different flavor. But this one we're going to use is a plain one. You can put different kind of nuts here. You can use pecan, you can use almond, and uh, you can use walnut. Just uh, uh, make it very interesting and make it different each time. Okay, now this, this one is pretty great. I'm going to add a sauce. The sauce I have cornstarch, water, and soy sauce in here. So before I add this to it, I make sure they look all good and, and cook. Okay, now time to go back to this vegetable. And then I'm going to put about a uh, three quarter cup of pecan. And look at the combination of the color and the texture is good too because some of the crunchy, the shrimp is a little bit soft, tender soft. And then it's time for lunch. Voila, look at this, how beautiful. Here with the pecan shrimp with no peas and vegetable.